it going there, everybody? It's Mr. Zan over here bringing you guys a brand new Boruto episode discussion for today's segment, guys. I'm going to be talking about it is episode 5. In this episode, guys, it was basically mostly the, the theme center about Mitsuki's actual appearance in this anime episode. And Mitsuki, of course, if you guys all have been following the, the Boruto manga itself, you guys would know that Mitsuki is, I believe, if I remember correctly, he was like a lab experiment of some sorts. He has like some genetics uh, spicing, if I remember correctly. It's been a long time since I read the, the manga. But the point is the fact that that Mitsuki now comes from the hidden sound village in order as a peace offering, as you could say, because the sound village and of course the, the hidden leaf village, you know, back then they actually had some quarrels with each other. So of course, having these, you know, these two villages come together to actually, you know, ena enable them to actually have their own ninja to actually come into the hidden leaf village is actually more of like a peace offering that I could kind of say, like an agreement saying that you know that this, these are times of peace. And I kind of I was kind of interested in the fact that Mitsuki's character. He, he, of course, we all know that he's a very smart ninja. He, he's well advanced in this stage, so he's just really there just for the last. And I've kind of found it hilarious that he's very interested in Boruto. I'm trying to remember why he was interested in Boruto himself. Maybe because blonde hair, luscious looks. Maybe that's what uh, main villains like to. Maybe he's a, maybe he's a little bit on the flamboyant side. Maybe that's what it is. I'm trying to remember. I, I can't recall why he's actually very interested in Boruto. Oh yes, now I remember. It's because Boruto can see something, see something that all the others can't see. Yes, folks. Boruto uh, once again is able to see these um, you could say like these little like shadowy figures around every single person itself. So it goes along to say that what exactly is um. What exactly is controlling these people? What exactly is is happening towards the hidden leaf village members? Is there somebody conspiring? But the thing about it is that Mitsuki came. It seemed more like the fact that he's aware of everything that's going on. Mitsuki's aware that all these people are being controlled by this this ominous figure, this, this shadowy figure, I'm not too sure, but it seems that Shino, of course, in this episode, it seems that it's actually going to be more focused on him for the next episode, because it seems that Shino was actually the only one that apparently was having very doubts about himself, about teaching the, the children, seeing that he couldn't actually get their attention, it just seems that Shino really tried his best, and even in the episode, it seems that he, it's not that he, was, he wasn't failing, it's more the fact that these are children, they have short attention spans, so Shino, of course, comes from a time that, that is not during peacetime, so of course he doesn't really know how to have necessarily fun in a sense. Of course he's an adult too, so everything that he likes is much very different in the case of what a children would like. But it's interesting to see that Shino's actually going to fight against, you could say, I think it was Shikaira, Mitsuki, and if I remember correctly, it was uh, Boruto himself in the next episode, of course. But in this episode, we did get to see the fight between Mitsuki versus Iwabe, and Iwabe, of course, Iwabe actually lost against Mitsuki because remember he this this ninja, he's very very intelligent, very powerful, and it seems that like everybody kind of noticed that he actually fights like a snake, and his, his snake like themes his, his his grip on his on Iwabe's neck was similar to a very snake theme. That it was actually very interesting that everybody was noticing it, and you know of course if I was Boruto I would be like whoa man this guy's kind of like a Orochimaru you know you know what is this guy's Orochimaru's son or or something along the lines of that, you know, just just kind of hinting right there. But the students, of course, they're all very they're very ignorant when it comes to terms as to what's been going on outside the village themselves. You know, they only know limited information based on what they know. But the point is the fact that now we actually get to see, what is it, if I remember correctly, Shino. Shino, Shino, Shino. Now that's going to be interesting seeing as, you know, he was a very top level fighter back in the day. So it goes on to say that I wonder how he's going to face off against Boruto and Mitsuki. Because remember, Mitsuki is actually another powerful ninja. So I'm wondering as to how Mitsuki is actually going to show off his lightning jutsus, his wind jutsus against Shino in the next episode. And it'll go along to say that it'll show just how a pivotal character he is and how advanced he is in, in, in his actual class. But let me know down in the comments, guys, as to what you guys thoughts on the anime episode. And what do you guys think of that ominous figure? They showed Shino actually, like, his shadow had, like, an ape-like structure. So I'm just kind of curious as to what Chimera-esque being is controlling them, or if it isn't even a Kamehameha, or is it one of the Otsuki clan members themselves, like I said, let me know down in the comments, and as always guys, if you guys enjoy my content, don't forget to give a like, comment, share, and subscribe for more Boruto episode discussions, and as always, I'll see you guys again in the next video, but peace!